How do I gain administrative access to a second-hand computer? You know the story, right? You pick up a computer at a, a garage sale or a second-hand store or uh, basically just any way that gets you somebody else's computer that they're done with, that they're not using anymore. There are ways to get administrative access, but do you really want to? How do I gain administrative access to a secondhand computer? It's important to understand the risk of buying a used computer. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thank you to the patrons of Ask Leo for making this podcast possible. AskLeo.com slash patron for more information. Question. My dad bought a computer from a yard sale. The problem is that they forgot to take off the password. I'm logged in as a user, but not an administrator, so I don't have admin privileges. How do I become an administrator? This is frightening for many reasons. It's not you who should be scared. We'll probably be able to get you into the computer. It's the previous owner who should be concerned. It's clear they didn't take a few important steps before selling their computer. You need to tread very carefully. I'll explain why. Seller, beware. The problem for the original owner is this. They've given away or sold the computer and all of the data on it. How do I know this? Because it still boots into Windows. It's clear they did not take the extra step to securely delete all of the data on the hard drive. We hear stories all the time of secondhand computers that are sold or discarded with a tremendous amount of sensitive personal data still on the machine. They may think they've deleted the files they care about, but as I've discussed in many articles in the past, there are often sensitive remnants in other places and even deleted data can sometimes be recovered. So lesson number one is for whoever sold the computer in the first place. Securely erase your data or you run the risk of the computer's new owner having access to all of it. Buyer beware. Do you know what you have? I mean, do you really know what you have? How do you know the machine you received isn't chock full of malware? For all you know, there are viruses, Trojans, spyware, ransomware, and much more on that machine just waiting for you to do something. Connect to your local network, share files with other machines, or log into your bank account. They're waiting for the opportunity to propagate, compromise, destroy, and generally cause havoc. I'm not saying this is the case. I'm saying you can't know that it's not. You have no idea how safety smart the previous owner of that computer may or may not have been. You have no idea what's on the machine. You have no idea what you have. Not really. The right solution. So lesson number two is for you, the person acquiring a secondhand machine by whatever means. The right thing for you to do is ignore anything that's on the hard disk, get a Windows install disk, and reformat and reinstall Windows from scratch. It's the only way to be certain you know what is, and perhaps more importantly, what is not, on the machine. It's the right way for two reasons. You're not even going to try to access or recover the previous owner's data. You're not going to suffer from any infections or malware left behind by the previous owner. The fact that the previous owner didn't know enough to securely erase their data doesn't bode well for their security habits either. Getting access anyway. I know, I know, sometimes people are curious or adventuresome, perhaps a synonym for foolhardy, and want to see what's on the existing hard disk. Fair enough. There are two approaches. It may be possible to gain access by downloading a password reset tool and booting from it. I've covered this in, I've lost the password to my Windows administrator account, how do I get it back? While this approach doesn't always work, when it does, you simply set the administrator password and reboot into the installed operating system. You're in. Remove the existing hard drive, place it in an external enclosure and connect that to a different PC. This will at least let you examine the hard drive's contents. As I've also said before, if you have physical access to a machine, then it is not secure. That works in your favor here. Just 
be sensitive to the data that you might find and know that you may be dealing with malware or other security issues you may not be able to see or recover from. For links related to this article or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 12356. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.